Hey guys, it's Chris, and welcome back to Something Else Will Be Amiga Related, maybe, sorta. This is the WEP 948D3 solder, desolder station from WEP Tools. So I was in the market for a desoldering station, and it just so happens that this is a two-in-one. So you have a soldering and desoldering station, all metal design. The pump is housed in this unit, which weighs virtually nothing. As always with a soldering station, you just plug the tip in and you're off to the races. So to turn the unit on, just push a button, it goes from 750 to 856 degrees Fahrenheit. And for your suction needs, it comes with this. What in the heck? This is for the pump. It has a filter in here. An interchangeable, a replaceable filter. Carbon mesh, which you get extras of in your kit. This just simply screws on. You press the vacuum tube into here and the, the desoldering gun into here. What I like about this thing is A, it's super thin. It goes from 716 to 896 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh my god, it's not working. What's wrong with it? When you squeeze it, it says fat or preheat. You gotta wait for it to heat up and then the gun will become available. The pump is in here, so it's ultra quiet. You have a nice long working cord and it is very convenient for removal because it comes with quick change ends. What do you mean? So if one fills up, you can eject it out like a magazine. Glass? Well, I dropped my metal piece, but how it works is this. You have this cartridge here, which looks like this. You can press the simple eject button, pull the chamber out, you can pop this top, and inside would be your solder to be removed. Remove the plastic or the rubber cover, dump your load, put this back in, and you're ready to go. To reload this, it has a metal tip that this silicone slides into. Slide it down, click it forward, you're ready. Here is our second cartridge with spare filters, spare glass. So you can have two of these ready to rock right away. It also comes with an assortment of cleaning tubes and a large and a small for your soldering gun. Now, if you were to get a clog, you can simply insert this spring-loaded tube. It will insert, pull out, you know how it works, insertion and pulling out. It also comes with a warranty, 24-7 customer service, one-year warranty, soldering station. These are extra bits for the soldering, a variety of tips, Heiko standard sizes in large and small. This has a larger barrel than the 3-in-1 uh, that I have, so make sure you order accordingly. Here is an example of hole sizes, the large on the top and the small on the bottom. There are plenty of replacement tips. What are these bags of magic on your desk? The desoldering station has a removable tip. Endless suction. You could leave this thing on till the cows come home to clean out your hole. The soldering change tips range from 0.8 mil all the way up to 2.0. So depending on her girth, she can get her lips around pretty much any circuit, IC, dip, cap, whatever you want. But Chris, they're closed off. They're sealed. They have a piece of solder over them to keep clogging from happening. Once you heat it up, it melts off and you just pull the trigger. We just happen to have a candidate that needs something done to it. I have a 1.2 in there right now. You even get a second solder uh, filter, pre-filter on your, with your kit. It's fully loaded. Now Web Tools was also concerned about a brother's health. The 948, they all have the number 948. Fume extractor. That's a 200 mil big fan built in. It's part of the unit. It also comes with a bunch of carbon filters front and back, the rear ones have a hole to go around the motor. So you can filter it in, you can filter it out. Also, it comes with arms. Arms, you say? A deflection thing, and you can screw in these arms. Remember how I was saying just another video that I wish I had four arms? Well, with this solder fume extractor, now I actually kind of do. So you lock it in place, you put your whatever you're working on right there and you can solder away and the fumes just get sucked right out. 
activated carbon filter. Powerful suction. This thing is actually very inexpensive. I'll put links in the description below. Here's your rear donut. That would go on the back, but I leave it open because commando. You also get three extra carbon filters for a total of four and three of the back filters. It does come with a full English manual and all the digital temperature settings, favorites, how to set uh, timeout and auto turn off and all sorts of wonderful things. How to replace the filters inside the cartridge and remove them and everything I just told you about the tip sizes. Also, a how to use a solder fume extractor. You push the button. How to load and reload the filters. So we're going to go ahead and crank this temperature up to, let's say, I don't know, 775 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in the old metric. It even has a grounding strap on the back of the unit. Right here, you can plug in a grounding strap. So here's your ground strap, pretty long lead. So we're going to have a candidate right now for this apparatus. This is an Amiga 600 that A, needs pin extraction on the IDE header, but more importantly, the keyboard connector got burnt slap up. So we need to remove that. Now, normally what I will do is add solder to a point. Conveniently, I have a solder station right here. I'll just put that on the same temperature, 775 degrees. This is ready to go, but I'm gonna add some solder to the points because this is 30 years old and I like to add things that melt back in. The fume extractor also adjusts down towards so you can suck fumes out of your workspace. You don't have to worry about being sloppy because you're going to remove it anyway. So what I will do is I'll get a 0 0.8 out of here. It'll come in packs of two. Now, I want to show you about that uh, hole that's covered. I can only hold this for a second because this thing's hot. The solder hole is here. It's just covered up. But once the gun is heated up, the tip is heated up, it'll melt this out and you'll clear it. Like any Web Tools product, grab the collar and turn. Spinner free. This is all metal construction. You're not going to hurt anything. Slide the collar off. Remove your tip. Grab your new tip. Put it on. Reinstall your collar. And tighten down the screw. So once this comes up to temperature, you can simply squeeze the trigger, and now you're free. Yeah, that RCA is broken off. Look at that. Totally broken off. Totally in half. It dry rotted out. Look at that. Can you see that? So one of the requests on this unit was to fix an audio jack. But... We'll get to that in the repair video. So as far as the fume extractor and the web tools solder, desolder and soldering station, the 948D as in dog three, I freaking love it. This is $149. So they wrote me the email and said, hey, for your followers interested in ordering, we will give you a promo code for the station. Plus, we are offering a free giveaway of the 948D3 for one lucky supporter in the United States, shipping costs covered. Let me know your thoughts. Best regards, Sherry. This thing shipped out of New Jersey. So anyway, yes, this is a Chinese uh, company, but they got offices all over the place. There's the site, weptools.com or weptools.com. And there's the two units I got. I got the 229, five, three-in-one uh, soldering work, rework, hot air, solder station, power station. That's the one I use all the time to fix all the Amigas. And now we have the 948D3 two-in-one, brand new from Web Tools. Like I said, it's not a sponsored video, and I've been in love with Web Tools since I first said I'm getting a new solder station way back when. If you haven't checked out that video, go check it out. It's not a sales pitch if you want, if you, if you like it. Great. If you don't, that's cool too. I like to share things that I use on my products. So in case you're an enthusiast or just a hobby level dude like myself and you're looking for something with good suction and your wife don't help, I'm just a dude 
and I like to share the things I use, the tools I use for my hobbies here of fixing retro computers and if it can help you if it sucks I will let you know but I've been using this thing for a little bit and it's been very great you saw her live she pulled out the keyboard connector we'll go ahead and remove that you always have a little piece that doesn't let loose and I gotta fix an RCA jack but that is for a repair video no more Heiko clone it's got more volume endless volume it's not big and bulky and this is all metal it's all metal I will put the link to the code in the description below along with the website and we're gonna do a drawing I guess to see who gets this free station unfortunately if you're from out of America we can move over here real quick get an address or PO box and then you can win and then go home but it won't work on your big power so North American residents only one unit free of charge and we'll take care of it web tools it's going to take the whole thing you saw it so we'll see thank you for watching and i hope you learned something Why do you know from funny, you bastard?